All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be answering Norbert Pavlik's question. So he says, hi guys, I've read somewhere and now experiencing it at first hand that the Facebook pixel isn't tracking purchases properly. And I'm not talking about missing some. Yesterday, it literally only registered one third of my sales after I just restarted my campaigns after a short break. Now it's impossible to know which interests are working. Anyone, any ideas? So first of all, Norbert, that's a great question. Um, Here's the thing, so the Facebook pixel is never gonna be exact, which is why there are other, other third-party solutions, tracking solutions and softwares that exist, such as, um, example, CPV Labs. Um, there's, you can also use Google Analytics and, uh, and there are other different um, third-party tracking softwares that you can use to track Facebook. So, now, let's not overcomplicate it because I know it's not always exact, but you can normally see the trend where the sales are coming from anyways. For example, in e-commerce, I've never used Google Analytics and I'm still able to track my sales relatively well. So it, that, this shouldn't be stopping you because it's always relatively accurate. Now, it also depends on the app you're using for, you're using for linking your Facebook pixel into your store. So, I've, I've, used, I've used one called Pixel Magic, which um, I'll be including the link in the description so you can grab it, or also Trackify is really good. If you are, if you are uh, integrating the Pixel manually in your store, you might be, you may have an, an error in the code, but regularly it's fairly exact. So if, if you don't wanna really complicate it using other third-party um, tracking softwares, then what you should do is just, um, Make sure it's set up the right way using one of those two apps that I recommend. Uh, I, I really don't recommend using it manually because, I mean, if you're trying to save money, tracking is not where you want to save money. So tracking is like the most important thing in, in, the, in internet marketing. If you're not tracking your results, then you won't know where sales are coming from, where leads are coming from, the real cost per lead, the real cost per sale. So if you don't know your numbers, you're just gambling like at a casino. So you gotta really know your numbers. This is why it's really, really important to use the Facebook pixel um, to track properly. Another, another external tracking solution that is really powerful is Improvedly as well. So you can use that one as well. Just um, go search for some reviews, see what's the best fit for you. Because like I always say, a lot of them are really good, but it's what really works for you. So Norbert, um, don't panic. Uh, make sure you're using one of those two apps and everything is installed correctly. If you're doing it manually, there may be an error. The Facebook pixel is never exact, but to be honest, it's fairly accurate and you will always be able to, to see where things are coming from with the Facebook pixel. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely Norbert, knowing which interests are working is absolutely key. If you're having an error, you have to fix it right now because I, a lot of, a lot of, um, a common problem that I see a lot of people do, doing is that they are not tracking properly. And like, man, this is the, the like probably the number one thing if you're that you gotta that you gotta make sure it's it's correctly because we are marketing, okay? We're marketing on the internet. It's it's no different than any other type of marketing. If you don't know your numbers, then you're screwed, man. You're screwed because you don't know how much money you're putting in, how much you're it's coming out. You don't know what the costs are, what the margins are. So if you really don't know it, if you really have no idea of these numbers then like I said, you're screwed. So you gotta make sure you fix the tracking right now. Use one of those third-party applications or my main suggestion right now is to fix the pixel. Um, use either uh, Pixel Magic or Trackify, which are really, really good, man. So obviously using Google Analytics as well is great. Um, it's just a bit more advanced and you should be fine, especially if you're starting out just using the Facebook pixel and the applications. So um, Trackify, you can find it on the App Store for e-commerce. Pixel Magic is for e-commerce as well. I'll put the link below because it's not in the App Store. And um, if you're doing lead generation as well, it's really important that you install Facebook Pixel correctly. I'm not gonna show you right now because I would have to do a screen a screen recording. So if you're doing lead generation and need to learn how to paste your pixel on the landing page, on the thank you page, on the different pages of your funnel, then hit me up, hit me a mess, uh, shoot me a message on Facebook I'll help you out with that, but um, it's a bit technical if you've never done it before. But uh, like, like like everything in life, if you learn how to do it, then it becomes easy. But um, if you have any more questions, man, or anyone watching this video about 
tracking, shoot me a message on Facebook. That's the main channel I use to communicate. And like, guys, make sure tracking is on point because if not, you're basically gambling. It's it's pretty much the same. If you can't control, you can't measure, and you can if you can measure something, you can improve it. So again, if you're just invest spending money on advertising without measuring the results, you're just wasting money. So hope you answered this your question, Norbert. Appreciate the um you writing this question. I will see you in the next video.